Hello. Welcome to In, in the Studio, uh, brought on by, sponsored by Davis Media Access. We are here to talk about the Yellow Bus Y shuttle, uh, which will be serving and does serve the Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento, as well as places in Yolo County. I'd like to introduce our excellent guests, uh, both of whom have been on my board at one time or the other. Um, I'm, again, I'm Terry Bassett, Executive Director of the Yolo County Transportation District. Uh, to my right is Don Saylor, he's chair of our board, uh, plus he's a member of the Yolo County Board of Supervisors. To his right is uh, Mayor Christopher Cobaldum from the City of West Sacramento. And Christopher has been on our board for, my goodness, something like 17 years, if you go back and look at it. Uh, so with that, we're going to be asking our guests a few questions about the, the Y shuttle and give the public a, a good idea as to what it's about. Uh, so with that, I think I've got a few questions here for you. One is, um, can you, Don, maybe ask uh, or explain who Yolo Bus is and what the Y shuttle is all about? Thanks, Terry. The Yolo Bus is a is a collaborative uh, transit system that's that's uh, that provides service to Woodland, Winters, Davis, West Sacramento, and takes our our riders into the city of Sacramento, as well as to the airport, the Sacramento International Airport, and to downtown Vacaville and, and between those cities. So it's a collaboration between the four cities in Yolo County, the county itself, and UC Davis. It's a way for us to provide. Uh, inexpensive, efficient transit services that take people out of their cars and onto, uh, onto a, a bus where they can actually visit with each other and, and become a part of a kind of a community of riders. Um, also for the public, uh, should know that we run 39 buses during peak hour and we do enough miles every weekday to make it from here to Beijing, China. That's one of our favorite quotes we like to, like to give. And there's paratransit service in addition to the fixed route service. So for people who have mobility limitations, we have ways of, of helping people get from place to place. Now, we've been planning this for something like 18 months uh, to serve the Golden One Center. And uh, Christopher, I've got a question for you. Why is the Golden One Center important and why is transportation vital to getting people to Sacramento and, and especially uh, downtown center? Well, Terry, the Golden One Center is, I mean, it's instantly become one of the central meeting places of the region uh, where folks are coming together for uh, events of all kinds. Uh, Paul McCartney, I was at the Maroon 5 concert. Folks in, uh, are going to the Kings games. There'll be Disney nights. It's going to be a place where lots and lots of people are coming to those events. But it's also sparking lots of other auxiliary um, activities and events nearby. And so uh, more event venues will be emerging around the center um, as, as close or as far as in West Sacramento. Uh, and so in addition to the events that we think about being at the Golden Wind Center, there's also lots of other activity, development, and, and stuff that's going to be happening around there. So it's really critical because uh, folks in our county, uh, many, many Yolo County residents are working at the arena, um, at the events, or they may be working at the, at the uh, bar or restaurant nearby, or maybe at the new hotel that's being constructed next to the arena. And then, of course, residents from all over Yolo County um, are already attending uh, the events um, that are at the, at the Golden One uh, Center. Many of our local, uh, our operators, Raley's, which is headquartered in West Sacramento, has a, a venue inside, uh, in, inside the arena. Uh, and so it's a, it's a, it's a Yolo County facility in, in many, many ways, and we want to make sure that it's easy to get there uh, for our residents. The fact that it's located downtown in the, sec in the heart of the, of the central city of our region makes transit service a, a really natural phenomenon, where the former arena located uh, out on Interstate 5 was very challenging for people to get to. The only way you could go really was by car and park. So park, so much land was used for parking. So we have a much better opportunity now to, to, to uh, access this, this asset. And it's also a great opportunity for transit because right. uh, I mean I, th I think our hope with the Y service um, is that for some folks it will be the, it'll be their their gateway their gateway drug into more transit riding mm -hmm. folks who are who maybe haven't figured out our local bus routes or you know they're, they're not so sure whether how, how it all works this is a simple frequent service you don't need to carry a schedule around 
it goes to the one place that you want to go and back. So if, if for folks who have never tried transit uh, or may have had a bad, ex bad experience somewhere else, this is a good opportunity, we hope, to give uh, folks around Yolo County the chance to try a system um, that is 21st century, that's designed for their, their needs to make it convenient and cheap. And hopefully, you know, our hope is that they'll say, hey, you know what, this was a great experience. I think I'm, I'm going to take Yolo bus tomorrow, maybe to work, or I'm going to take it to, to a game at, the, for, at Rayleigh Field to watch the Rivercats play. Um, so it's, it's, an important, it's a good way for us to be able to expose more people to, to how easy, convenient, and affordable transit really is. And even though uh, West Sacramento is separated from Sacramento by the Sacramento River and the Tower Bridge, you view mm -hmm. both as one consolidated downtown area in terms of how uh, West Sacramento and you in particular look at it. Yeah, we, we, uh, we have to. The only ones who don't think about it uh, sometimes in, in, uh, in, is a consolidated place is government. Right. But, but our citizens certainly do on, on both sides of the river. They live, work, and play in both, in both places. And they want option, options and opportunities to be able to get around. Um, and many of the people who are moving in um, to residences, either in downtown Sacramento or in, especially in our waterfront districts in West Sacramento, want transportation choices. And it doesn't mean that they will ride the bus every time everywhere, but uh, maybe they'll bike part of the time or they'll walk uh, uh, part of the time. But uh, if it's late at night or if it's raining, um, they want the transit option to be there in addition to Uber and Lyft and other ride sharing things. And so what we're trying to do is create a portfolio of opportunities so that you, you don't have to have a car um, or if you do have a car, you don't have to use it if you don't want to and deal with all the hassles. And that's an essential part of what this whole service is about. So one, one of the challenges with, uh, with, with access into the center of the, of the core area of our region for the arena was how do we get people in and out without congesting the, the traffic in the downtown area, without occupying every single spot uh, for parking in the, in the whole area, so without making a mess of things. Mm -hmm. And so there's been an incredible amount of thoughtful, thoughtful planning that's gone on across jurisdictions. And I want to compliment our colleague, our mutual colleague, Chris Ledesma, who's a city council member in West Sacramento and also a member of our Yolo County Transit District, Transportation District Board uh, for working with staff on, in, uh, in a number of jurisdictions to help craft this solution. So, so what is the why? Why is a pretty exciting shuttle and the service uh, that, that we have currently, uh, that, we've, that we've had for some time, involves a lot of commuter buses coming in and out of the center city in, in Sacramento and bringing people back to, to Yolo County, to the cities of Woodland, Davis, and West Sacramento, where, where a lot of people live, but they work in the center. So mm -hmm. as it happens, the events that will take place at the arena are largely outside of the commute hours. So most people who uh, want to commute in for work are going to be able to continue unabated on the days, uh, continue their, their work commute unabated. On the days when a major event takes place, then we're setting in place an impact schedule for the routes for commuter buses and we're adding a shuttle that takes people from, uh, from stops. And I'll start by just describing the Woodland route. Uh, there, people can, can uh, access the shuttle at, on Main Street at the uh, Orchard Supply uh, place, OSH, on Main Street, or at the gateway, uh, uh, the, the place where you can go, where, uh, where Costco is located in those other, those other uh, shopping areas in the eastern part of Woodland. Those two stops beginning two hours before an event time uh, starts up, you, people in Woodland or people who want to get to Woodland and take the shuttle in can get on there and they go directly to the West Sacramento Transit Center and then on, they pick up new additional riders there and then go right on to the, to the, to the core of Sacramento where the arena is located. Similarly in Davis, there are two stops in Davis and this all begins uh, two hours before an event starts. In Davis, they're, they're, it's right across the street from the marketplace near Sycamore and Covell is one of the stops. And the other one is at the park and ride uh, near the Aikida uh, uh, fruit stand uh, in right off Mace Boulevard and 2nd Street in Davis. And again, that, one can, those bu that bus will be every 15 minutes during, that, uh, during the event times going over to, uh, over to West Sacramento Transit Center and then, then on into the, into the area. Once, the, once they get to, to, uh, uh, to in, into, this, into the city and enjoy the, the event and they start coming back, they, the route just, just reverses and they, they come back. Now some people are going to have taken a, a train because one of the delights is that the Capitol Corridor passenger trains continue to operate. So some folks 
might want to take the train from the Davis station and, dry, and ride that into the, into the downtown area, walk to the arena, but sometimes the events will last beyond 1030, which is the last train going back to the west. So those people can, can get a, tra a transfer on the bus and uh, on the train, and then as they're coming back, they can take a YOLO bus uh, Y shuttle back into, into the area. So, we're, so we're, the idea here is to allow people to use their Uber or their Lyft or walk or bike to the place where they get on the bus and, and have a seamless, uh, seamless commute. Tonight is the Jimmy Buffett concert at the arena, and the Parrotheads are already there uh, over at Rayleigh Field, starting at 10 a.m. this morning. They'll be able to take the Y shuttle in and then back out. Now, I should point out that sometimes the special events are such that uh, they're not always starting at 7.30 or 8 o'clock, so we sometimes have to have the buses leave Woodland and Davis earlier. Uh, the other thing I'd like to point out is the fact that our fares are three and a quarter, uh, one way, or a dollar sixty for seniors, uh, or you can buy a seven dollar uh, daily pass or a fourteen dollar group pass. You can take three friends or be four of you, and it only costs you fourteen dollars to go a round trip. Yeah, this no. is very exciting. It is exciting. And I think yeah. part of what's exciting to me about it is is how simple it is, yeah. um, because. Uh, you know, especially if you if you tr transfer at the West Sacramento uh, Transit Center, or you or for or for my, my residents who go to that transit center, it's it's mimics the streetcar line in its alignment, but it's just a simple straight shot. Yeah. Right. For uh, especially if you're not used to riding transit, and you don't you don't have the Yolo Bus app on your phone necessarily, and you're not tra tracking all this stuff. You don't have to worry. Okay, what's the schedule? I don't. You don't have to carry a schedule. Around. Okay, it's it's it comes at 7:26, and then the next one's at 9:47. Oh my God, I better run to the thing. You just know it's going to be there every 15 minutes. So it's very simple to use. It's not going to take you some crazy place. It's going to go right where you came from, or or directly to the arena. So it simplifies the transit experience in a in a really good way, while it's being an, a very affordable option and a reliable option. Which the other you know there are other ways to get to and from the arena. Um, uh, 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 you know the uh, Ride sharing is a, is, a, is, a, is an option for some, but you know as as, as you as you know Terry, there are folks who it's it, it, especially when you get past West Sacramento, but even in West Sacramento, so many riders, so many um, uh, arena attendees want to get out of the arena and get home. I, I had this experience the other night at the Maroon Five concert. So ride sharing is a great a great option, but it's it can be very expensive because everybody wants it all at once, and that's when surge pricing comes into effect. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the Y, I, I took the I took an Uber home from the from uh, the Maroon Five concert. Bab Sandin, our vice mayor, took the Y, and she was home way ahead of me. Um, uh, and that's an example. And she only paid nothing, <laughs> and, we, and we paid, you know, three, three, three x uh, surge pricing. So it's a great example of of how, you know, from the closest part of the of Yolo County to the arena to the farthest stretches, uh, where where an Uber ride three uh, x could, you know, we run you a hundred bucks. Uh, you know, if you're going up to Cash Creek or whatever, so it's a great alternative for for residents to be able to use, or and even if you don't use it, to know that it's there. And right now, until November 20th, you can look at the Davis uh, Enterprise or the Woodland Daily Democrat, and you can get a free coupon. You can ride it for free until November 20th as a way to to kind of let people know. And uh, in terms of letting people know how to how to access this service, check out the the uh, website Yolo. Yolotransit.com slash Y, uh, or just uh, just uh, go pick up one of these little math, nice little brochures that gives you the map and the schedule and everything's here. And if you have, I think one of the things that I like about what we're doing right now is we're nimble. So if somebody's got some suggestions about improvements, let us know because we can make the service be the best it can be. Even if, you, even if you don't get the brochure, you can also just like if you walk around your town. You know, if you, if you, if you, if I, I think, Yellow bus. I think, I think Supervisor Taylor said something about Costco. So you head by, if you're, if you're around Costco or, or uh, you know, or, or around downtown West Sacramento, or if you're at the arena and you got there, somebody dropped you off or you took an Uber, now it's surge pricing. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, just look for these signs. They're everywhere. Right. Um, and since you know that it's going to be, you know, you're not going to pay much of anything, if anything, and it's going to go right to where you need to go, you don't need to have all that other information too. So it's great to have the background and it's easily accessible through the brochures on the buses through the internet and through your phone um, but even if you don't have those uh, just look for the Y sign in in your town or at the arena and it'll take you where you need to go and a couple of clarifications one it's yolobus.com is our website 
And it's also important to know that the Y shuttle between the West Sacramento Transit Center and downtown is free. Uh, the fare that's being applied is only for the long distance trips from Davis and, and Woodland. Um, in particular, one of the things we've discovered is the trip is much faster than we feared. So do you think that's going to help get people onto transit uh, sooner than later? I think people ride transit if it's predictable. They know what time it's coming, it's reliable, it's not gonna, and, it's, and it's safe and clean. And all those things are gonna be, the, that's gonna be what the why is about. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited and looking forward to using this service. Yeah, I think one of the, one of the uh, great things about the Y is we were able to um, negotiate an agreement with the city of Sacramento so that the Y, even when their streets are closed, um, as part of the traffic management plan for the city of Sacramento Police Department, uh, they're allowing us to run the Y down the main, ma down the main streets. That's going to really ensure that we have very solid reliability. Uh, so you're not going to be in a bus stuck in traffic. Uh, you're going to be zooming right past an empty, through an empty street in order to get back to the transit center and onto your destination in any of the Yolo County communities. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it provides both speed and reliability that is it's important. When, at, at the end of the game or the concert, you want to get home. Um, <laughs> and the Y is going to give you that, that reliability. So with that, I'd like to thank our, our guests, uh, Mayor Christopher Cabalan from West Sacramento and Chair Don Saylor from the Yolo County Transportation District and the Yolo County Board of Supervisors. Uh, and especially we'd like to thank the audience that is viewing this show on In the Studio.